Hello, is this RC Addicts Anonymous? Yes, I have a problem. Yes, I did it again. <laughs> oh, the wife doesn't know that I bought another RC car. Check it out. Got another new RC car. I said I wanted to expand into different markets, different brands. So here we go. The Rival MT10 by Team Associated. Mm. Ah, it's the good stuff. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So yeah, it's just over $300. This is a 110 scale brushless monster truck by Team Associated. Things that I've seen online, it seems pretty durable, seems fun. Uh, I know it's nothing new, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time touching on stuff here. But, man, it, it does look pretty impressive what you get. You know, you, you do get threaded oil-filled shocks. You get the 3300 kV brushless motor. A wheelie bar! It has actually has a center differential, which is really nice. And what's really weird is I can't find any specs on this. ESC. If it's 120 amp, 140 amp, anything, it just says water is powerful, reedy, brushless speed control. Why is nowhere in the marketing the output for that speed control listed anywhere? So let's get in the box and see what we got. In the bag, you got a bind plug, Allen wrench set, instructions for ESC, and still doesn't tell you the power rating. Color brochure of cars. Structure manual for the remote. Paperwork for the motor. Certificate of conformity. Nice glossy owner's manual. Got, oh wow, look at all that. So, nice big pictures of all the parts that you might need for said vehicle. Ooh, before we get in, let's check out the remote system here real quick. Throttle steering, dual rate, that's nice. Uh, not much to it. It's a little weird. That little brake and rotor in there. Uh, actually, doesn't feel too bad. Doesn't feel that bad again. On off switches here. It's nice. It's not hidden under a cover. 2.4 gigahertz. Alrighty. Let's. Ooh. Wait. That is shiny. Let's take a second to take this all in before we dig into it. Let's check out underneath here. You notice we have a fully plastic chassis. Really nice thick hinge pin mounts to capture the hinge pins going all the way through. So you can see here we actually have a bolt capturing your steering knuckles here. Now I know people complained about the A-arms being really weak and that they would break. But they feel pretty good. There's a lot of flex here to me so I don't know. I'm not sure if maybe they improved it. This is version 2. But it does actually feel pretty good to me so hopefully that won't be a problem but just in case uh, you know I let everybody get into my mind with that 
I did buy the RPM arms. So I do have them before anybody says anything, but I run everything out of the box. We're going to see how the factory components do, so no worries about that, right? So this is a little weird and maybe concerning that the servo linkage is sticking out, especially with these bolts right here. There is an adjustment here for your servo saver. So if you do need to adjust it, that's right there. But looking, looking pretty good so far right there. Uh, let's get the body off. Now, you know, I'm not a fan of body clips. I do like the, the fact that these are bent. But notice the way these go in. Kind of like a north-south kind of thing. Uh, I always have a problem on my on my mad van whenever it rolls over losing body clips because of the orientation so that is a little concern now body not the strongest feeling thing uh, i really wish like these body mounts were a little bit bigger there was more space to help support this and there's nothing in the middle here to, to help it like crack and there's actually no roof protectors either so that's actually yes oh yeah i forgot i actually have boom these by garage life rc they're actually made for the uh i believe the forest creighton so we will be throwing that on as well we got that i almost forgot about that wow i actually ordered the parts and it took longer for the car to get here than <laughs> everything else so let's spin this thing around actually let's talk about the tires before i forget they feel really good, nice and wide. They are vented through the wheel. The wheel has a little hole in it there, so I know some people don't like that. They'd rather vent the tire itself. Yeah, right there. So it definitely feels like there's a foam in there, but tires feel good. Nice. Soft, they are not directional, so. Now one thing I don't like, I don't understand why they went with these little nuts right here. And then try to fake it with these stupid plastic covers that are a real pain to get off. I don't like that at all. I also don't like the bag. At first, when I saw this, I was like, oh, cool, this will help keep dirt out. But I'm not sure who has to put this on in the factory, but I don't envy you. These mounting tabs here, that there's four of them that hold the, the net in place. They're like level with the body. And it's damn impossible to get this in. You know, it's kind of like trying to put a, a sheet that's too small on the bed. You know, you put in one corner and you get the other corner and that corner pops out. This is kind of one of the most annoying things ever. When done right, it works great, but this was not done right. I don't like the bat. It was poorly executed. So we got our 3300 KV motor without a fan. I don't like that. I really would like to see a fan on a brushless motor. So you don't burn them up, especially for me, people like us in the south, it gets hot. We have our unrated ESC with some very, very thin wires here. Um, I'm not sure. I'm really concerned about this thing running 3S with such small, like 14 gauge wire. Phew, I was about to snip this off and just go ahead and get like a, put an EC5 is what I normally put on there. But these wires... It's way too thin for that. This is more like maybe an EC3, IC3 connector at the most, which I do have. Um, my planes run on a small connector. So I'm going to see. I, I, I'm going to run an adapter for now. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, I'll see. I'll see how that works. I don't. And actually, I'm not even sure 100% if I had the adapter. I'll check back in with you, but. We do have a, it's supposed to be a digital high torque servo. We have a quick access uh, receiver case right here. I'm not sure what that port is on the top. It is kind of weird. I'm not used to seeing that. We get channel one, two, three, and an aux. So, you already got the lights in the one, but you do have plenty of room to add a fan. Like I said, I'm not sure what this other one is. Maybe it's programming. I don't know. I did actually find out something when I talked to the guys at Team Corral. He asked them why their boxes weren't waterproof, and they said it's because Traxxas has a patent on it. <laughs> so I don't know how that works, but obviously they patented the thing. But it is nice that the wires do run here, and I like the fact that the lights are actually in the chassis, not the body, so you don't have to worry about that connection. And our center drive shaft is shielded. It's protected by this little brace here, 
And what's nice is this is actually a center differential and not a slipper clutch. Shocks are plastic, but they are threaded. That's nice instead of using those cheap collars, which I don't like. This is threaded. And the shocks actually feel really, really good. There's a nice, there's a lot of travel there. And they, they feel really nice. Anti-sway bar, plastic dry shafts. You do have, instead of an upper control arm on both, you have these adjustable camber links, which I'm not a fan of. I'd rather just be solid plastic because this is all hollow. It's threaded in there and where the metal ends, if you do take a hit, this thing this thing's going to tweak and where the metal is, it's going to it's going to break where that's hollow and it's just going to snap out. I've seen it happen before. It's not really nice design. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but you got the bolt running all the way through to capture your control arm here. So or your steering knuckle, so that's nice, T up top and bottom. So that's a really nice thing to see there as well. Think I about covered everything. Like I said you got a dual bell crank steering system with the adjustable servo saver. Lights are in there, and man, it's, it's looking pretty good. So I'll find out what kind, of, what I'm going to run for a battery here. What we're going to put in here, run it. We're going to take it out. We're going to speed test it. I'm going to get the ramp set up. We're going to do some jumps. We're going to off-road it and give you my honest opinion of what I think of the vehicle. I purchase this with my money. I'm not sponsored by anybody. They don't send me any free stuff. So what you see, it's I purchase. I got no reason to promote something or to lie about it. Um, I got this because I want to experience other brands and share more affordable RCs with people because I want to see everybody, more people get into the hobby and, and enjoy this. So, hopefully, oh, look at that, the uh, wheelie bar is adjustable, too. It feels really good. I like that. All right, everyone, so let's get this thing assembled, and I'll, I'll see you outside. All right, so I decided to go ahead and put the IC5 connector on there, after all. But that's just <laughs> ridiculous looking. It goes from that to that, right? But the battery i have for the plane is only a very small like uh um, it's just a small pack i don't think it would run this very long so and it would barely it's so sloppy in here so there we go we got the rc guy garage gps holder it's really cool it's like he designed this i've used it many times on the outside but it's also designed too like you could strap it very securely to a battery pack like this and then like i don't have to worry about getting back in here to run it so Let's get the body on, do a speed test, see how fast it is. Sorry if this is out of frame. When you wear a GoPro on your head, it's hard to tell where you're filming, but I bent it down as much as I can. I just want to mention, you know, usually, for the most part, when I get these cars, I always run. I try to run them for 5-10 minutes in front of the house just to break everything in, get the trim set up. And then last night I was running this, I wanted to see the lights. And thankfully, I had these uh, roof guards on see already the scratches that are on there because I did a wheelie and it flipped over so luckily it saved oh it did scratch back there unfortunately but you know hey that worked so look at that it's kind of stiff all right here we go in case you missed it we are running it on 3s I believe that's a 100C pack. Check out the lights. You know, I'm really starting to kind of dig the lights on the uh, RCs. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Look how bright that is. All right, let's see. See what we got. Whoa. <laughs> that thing, he got up to speed pretty quick. Look at that. Come on, get straight. So not really a lot of ballooning out of the tires, but, whoa. Oh! Yeah. That is why. Uh, you know what? Uh, there really there probably ain't much I could do for that back wing, but man, I really wish there was something right there I could put. So you just gotta... 
Easy, do not just nail the throttle on 3S. There you go. Oh, why did I do that? You see, sometimes you do it, doesn't doesn't really want to do it, so. I should have known better. I... 42. 40, that's, it's not bad. It's not bad for a monster truck. Heck yeah, all right. Oh man, it does pretty good. It is a little unstable in turns, it seems. Might have to soften the suspension a little bit. I tightened it up last night, just the front, because it was sagging so much, but... <laughs> All right, this might not be the best conditions for the ramp. It's kind of wet, but let's see. Let's see how it jumps. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, kind of nose died there at that last second. Nice. Jumping really, really nice here. Oh. good at coming at the ramp like this whoa see that's why I gotta be like standing behind it 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 looks cool but that's why I got the 360 camera set up to capture those shots let's try one more thing there we go yeah. Oh. Man, you, it's got a little too much break. Look. I mean, when I hit the brakes on the ground, it's making it nosedive. Making it really hard to control in the air. Oh, durability testing, yeah. 
That's what we are doing. Uh, not perfect, but. I only hit one more at a pretty good speed. I don't think it'll backflip. Maybe it will. Oh, yes. Look at that. It will backflip. Awesome. Yeah, I probably need to backflip then hit the dang brakes. We're going to check the temperature. We've just been doing some jumps one after another. 117, right? Yeah. Let's see what the ESC's at. 80 degrees because it has a fan. But the motor not so much. Yeah. Let's see how it'll run over here. Man, it's a good car. It's, uh, is it a replacement for the 4S Creighton? Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it can really touch the 4S Creighton. But you know, it's a hundred dollars cheaper. So if this is what your budget can allow, and you want to have a fun RC monster truck, yeah, I don't see any problem with it. It's it's fast. Not as fast as, like I said, the uh, 4S, but... Oh, no. Ha. It is fun. It is loud, though. All right. I think this is going to conclude our, our outdoor uh, testing. See, unfortunately, it's hard to do donuts because this thing just wants to flip. <laughs> oh, man. It's not terrible. If the dirt's loose enough. Oh. All right, like I said, this is going to conclude our outdoor testing. We'll go back to the bench and I'll give you my final thoughts. Here it is, the Team Associated MT-10. Try to wrap up my final thoughts here in two minutes or less because I know this video is getting long and I appreciate you sticking to the end. I'm really working on shrinking these down, but I probably got a little too carried away with too much B-roll, but you got to admit it looked good. Anyhow, so what do I think overall? Pretty good truck. Uh, not the most powerful thing in the world, but I think for the price point, it does okay. Um, some weaknesses here i did break the wheelie bar now i did take a bad landing i landed right on it but to me if you're putting wheelie bars on cars you're gonna have to expect that but i think the problem is here the top screw if you look there's not a whole lot of material left when you have it right here so i would move it down at least one so you have more material around here to hold it and hopefully that should hold that in better i did lose a body pin clip off the body pouch the post mounts uh, I don't like that design I should either use like a nut and bolt or just use a self tapping screw to lock those in there I don't know why to use clips that's kind of pointless to me um, also these body mounts they're so flimsy and flexible sometimes it's really hard to get the body on and then too I don't know why any basher anybody makes does not come with some type of roof protection I'm also I got to try to find something to protect this back end because this body's really thin and it's not going to take long before this rear wing is shredded down to absolutely nothing the motor would like to see a fan on it as you saw the temps we got pretty warm on that but other than that uh i don't really have any other issues or things i'd like to see with the car i mean it's not the like i said fastest or most powerful thing but you could tune that in with gear changes uh, changing oil and center diff stuff like that uh, esc programming the hobby wing program card does not work 
with this. So to me too, it also does have a little bit too much brake. Like I showed you when, on the flat ground, when I hit the brakes, it flipped over, but that's totally tunable with the ESC. I just like to let you be aware of it before you take it out there and you know, maybe you want to tune it beforehand. I just like to show everybody the car as it comes out of the box. I don't have any driving experience with these. When I do these runs, I take them out of the box and show you how it performs. Now, you know, later on, we can tweak and tune it. And, you know, so just know that, that just because you see something you don't like, maybe in the way a vehicle performs, doesn't mean you're stuck with that. You can adjust it. Like these shocks are very, extremely slow. So a little thinner oil might uh, speed that up, but uh, might also just tune these tune the shocks down a little bit to the springs a little bit softer because I saw the way this was sagging so I tightened the springs up so it would stay up but then I had such a problem out there landing this thing just bounced it would not and it still does not really bounce well at all so I think the shock oil is just a tad bit too thick so I'm probably going to thin that out a little bit too and get a little bit more out of this and I think it'll handle better too because the suspension just really doesn't seem like it's doing a lot for the vehicle but all in all really nice vehicle uh, I never thought I'd be a fan of lights on the RC but it's kind of growing on me I, I like them I kind of like these lights um, but that being said, let's talk about the, um, oh, I guess I'll mention, if I didn't, I think I didn't mention, the A-arms didn't break any. I think most of the people that had a problem was either with version one or people that are on skate parks smashing this thing into concrete. I don't know, but so far I haven't broken anything on here except for the wheelie bar. <laughs> but uh, so far, you know, I haven't, haven't broken any, so. And I probably won't because I have control arms on hand, ready to go. But uh, So let's talk about this cloud over this thing now. The Rolarlo. Uh, the Omni Terminator. This thing is, what, $430, I believe? Or three, no, $340. Yeah, $340. This was $340, which for an RC, brushless, 3S isn't bad for what you get. Where Larlo's coming out with their 110 scale, 3S brushes with the center diff, and they're selling it at 200. The carbon fiber, which is supposed to be faster, is at 250, 249. So, ooh, this this is really uh, <laughs> throwing a wrench in the stuff here. So. Uh, you might want to wait and see what the Rolarlo has in hand. Uh, we might be getting one to look at here in the channel. I don't know. We never know what's going to show up here. I don't know how these things ever come here. They just, they just show up and my credit card gets charged. <laughs> I still have to pay for everything, right? But Yeah, so mm, that's something to consider if you're looking at like this. All right, everyone. I hope you found this informative, entertaining as well. Hope you'll subscribe. If you haven't, leave a like, leave a comment. Links down below really help out the channel. Everyone, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.